In this section, we are going to discuss two interesting operator, unary increment operator and unary decrement operator. Unary increment operator is represented using two plus sign and unary decrement operator is represented using two minus sign. The purpose of unary increment operator is to increase the value of a variable by one and the unary decrement operator decreases the content of a variable by one. Let me just show you using some simple example. Let us consider that we have a variable a assigned with 5 and if we apply plus plus on this a then the content of a is going to be increased by 1. It is simply equivalent of writing a is equal to a plus 1. Similarly, if we have a variable x and the x variable is initialized with 10, then writing x minus minus will decrease the content of x by 1. It is simply equivalent of writing x is equal to x minus 1. Now there are two different usage of this increment and decrement operators. One is known as the pre-increment and the other is post-increment. Similarly with decrement that means pre-decrement and post-decrement. Now I'll be discussing the pre and post cases with the unary increment operator and same thing is actually applicable for the decrement operator as well. Now if we write a plus plus that means the plus plus is post fixed with the operand a in this case it is called post increment otherwise we could have written in this way it is called pre incrementation now when the plus plus is prefixed it is pre increment when it is post fixed with the operand it is post increment now what is the difference actually if we have only the plus plus operator operating on a single operand in the expression and nothing else in the expression then the meaning remains same. There is no difference between pre-incrementation and post-incrementation in such cases. That means we have only single operator plus plus operating on operand. No complex statement is there. Then the meaning doesn't differ. Otherwise, the meaning differs when we have some other operator in the expression. Let us take one example. Say we have a variable a initialized with 5 and another variable i and I am writing i is equal to plus plus a. Now writing i is equal to a plus plus and i equals to plus plus a, they are having different meaning. Here in the prefixed case, what happens since we have two operators here, one is the assignment and another is the pre-incrementation. So the pre-incrementation is going to be applied first and the content of a is going to be increased first, then the value is going to be assigned. So pre-incrementation means increment it first, then do the other thing. And post-incrementation means do the other thing first, then increase the content of the variable. Here, the assignment operation is going to take first. That means the content of A is going to be assigned to I first. Then the value of A is going to be increased. That means in this case, if we print I after this operation, then the value of I is going to be 6. And then obviously A is going to be 6 here because A is go always going to be incre increased whether it is pre or post. That means here the value of I is going to be 6 and here after this operation the value of I is going to be 5. Here it is 5 and A is going to be 6. So the equivalent operation could be written in this way. That means in this case it's actually happening in this way. First the value of I is assigned I'm sorry, the value of A is assigned to I, then the A is increased by 1. And in this case, the value of A is increased by 1 first, then it is assigned to I. So in case of pre-incrementation, the increment operator is applied first, then the other thing is actually done. In post-incrementation, the other thing is actually done first, then the incrementation takes place. Now the case is same for the decrement operator as well. That means if we have a variable a initialized with 5 and we have i and I'm writing i is equal to minus minus a, that is different writing i is equal to a minus minus. Although in both the cases the content of a is going to be decreased by 1 but the value of i is going to be different in both the cases, in these cases. So here it's actually the decrementation will be affected first that means the value of a is going to be decreased first to 4 then 4 is going to be assigned to i so uh, value of i here is going to be 4 and a is 4 as well but here the content of a is going to be assigned 
to i first that means i is going to be 5 in this case and then a is going to be decreased so the value of a is going to be 4 here so the equivalent operation of this is first of all the assignment is taking place then a is equal to a minus 1 and here it is actually decreasing the value of a first then it is assigned to i in this programming example i try to show you how the pre incrementation and post incrementation works with this example we have a variable a initialized with 5 and a variable i also integer and what we are doing here at line number 7 you can see that i equals to plus plus a that means it is the pre incrementation of a that takes place first and then the value incremented is assigned to i that means the value of a will be increased to 6 first and then 6 will be assigned to i so the printf statement at line number 11 is going to print the value of a to 6 and also the value of i as 6 let me just execute the program and show you the result here you can see that both a and i are 6 now if i change it to a plus plus instead of plus plus a then this is the example of post increment now a will be assigned to i first so it is the assignment that is going to take first not the incrementation a will be assigned to i first and then it will be incremented and then it will be incremented so in this case the content of i is going to be 5 and then the a will be incremented to 6 so the value of a is going to be printed as 6 but i is going to be 5 let me execute here you go a is 6 and i is 5 let me give you some other example so that you can understand the thing more clearly say we have a variable b here with 6 and a variable i now i'm writing something like this a plus plus multiplied with b plus plus then I'm printing A, B, and I. So I am having B here added. Okay. So in this case, for the multiplication operation, the values of A and B will be utilized first. Here, the associated operation is multiplication. Multiplication is having higher precedence than the assignment. So the multiplication is going to text first. And the content of A and B is going to be utilized to the multiplication first then they will be incremented since we have used the post incrementation here so the values of a value of a is right now 5 value of b is right now 6 so 5 multiplied with 6 is 30 that's going to be assigned to i then the value of a is going to be incremented and also the value of b is going to be incremented so after this operation i is going to be 30 and a is 6 b is 7 so let me execute here you go I is a is 6 b is 7 and i is 30 now instead of this if i just use say plus plus a multiplied with b plus plus then the value of a is going to be incremented first then the result is going to be utilized in the multiplication operation with the current value of b that is 6 so 6 multiplied with incremented a that is 6 that is 36 is going to be assigned to i then the value of b is going to be incremented so a is going to be 6 b is going to be 7 but the result of multiplication is going to be 36 here you go here the result of multiplication is 36 so a and b both are going to be incremented by one that's obvious if you have plus plus b here instead of b plus plus both the variables a and b are going to be incremented first then the incremented values for a and b are going to be used in the multiplication that means here the result of multiplication is going to be 6 multiplied with 7 that's 42 here you go so the value of i is 42 and both a and b are incremented to 6 and 7 respectively this is another example of pre and post increment operation here you have a variable a initialized with again my favorite number 5 and then I am just printing the content of a++ plus plus with the first printf and then I am doing plus plus a here now what's going to be the output for these two cases now here the value of a is going to be passed to the printf as parameter first then the a is going to be incremented so here the printf function gets 5 as the value for a so it will be a equals to 5 here and then the value of a is going to be incremented to 6 after passing to the printf so 6 is not going to be printed here now in the next printf at line number 7 the value of a is going to be incremented so from 6 it is going to be incremented to 7 so here then it is going to going to be passed to the printf method so a equals to 7 is going to be printed here so here it is 5 because 
the current value of a is passed to printf first then the value of a is incremented to 6 now here it is from 6 to 7 that is passed to the printf function it's 7 let me just execute the program and show you the result here it is it's first a equals to 5 then a equals to 7 makes sense had we uh, written a printf statement in between these two printfs then the value of a would be obviously 6 after the first operation so here if we print the content of a at line number 7 as you can see it's going to be 6 because a is incremented to 6 here so here it is going to be 6 and let me just execute once more to show you that here you go a is equal to 6